Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 129 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Who are on the move? Alright, hero music. That's a, that's good. So the Guadalcuna Castle has proceeded into the foothills of the above uh Faro de Aros. So, hand in hand with Thea, we look upon the God's Haze. Here we are at last. Yep, finally made it to our destination. We've been aiming for this for so long, and now we're finally here. It's really moving, isn't it? Navarro's parents also aimed to come here. And since Avaro's taken up the missive, they're probably happy for him. <laughs> I wonder about that. Their objective was different, I think. And anyway, I'm here for Fia's sake. Even so, he's taking the same actions, so after all, they'd probably be happy. And Fia, right now, is somehow so tumultuous inside it feels like she's gonna cry. So she thinks that Avaro's parents would also feel, you know, emotional. Well, since Fia's in this place where she doesn't have memories, she's probably pretty uncertain about this, aren't you? So, we met many people and fought many people. There were good times and there were bad times. But through it all, everyone's helped us to get this far. <laughs> and in the end, before the Holy Accords could decide what to do with Fia, Kudvans also carried us this way, sent us this way. So he seemed to have a strict attitude, but he wasn't a bad person. He wouldn't try and hurt people out of some out of the a desire to pull some kind of prank. He cares about people and he's a kind guy. Yeah. Okay, I object. He's not a good person. You don't get to deceive millions of people and still get to be a good person. No matter what justification he pulls out of his ass later on. That <laughs> I bet I was thinking the same thing as me. So Kudvans met us on the battlefield but didn't give it his all. In order to you know, get us here in his own way. But the Influence Army was led by Gina Tiu Favo was different. Those guys were serious. So, although it was kind of coercive, it may have been the death of Gils that brought them to do to, uh, the actions they take against us. Hmm. Well, in truth, Fia would have preferred that we not fight like that. 
that they'd have properly recognized her and sent her on her way. Well, he couldn't show that kind of action in front of his subordinates, so if he wanted us to send us, this would probably be the easiest way. Ugh. Quit making excuses for him. He's a bad guy. Bad. So, both of us had our points which would, upon which we would not waver. And so, we each had our axes, which we wouldn't change, and although it was kind of roundabout, it did ultimately get both of them working. Keep both of them working. Is that so? Hey, <laughs> hey. What a clumsy grandfather. So at the Holy Accords, we tried to, you know, talk everything out, and it turned out to be too hard for us. After all, his position couldn't be changed. And the various forces had their own opinions behind the matter. Well, since we value things differently, that also means we can get along. And it also means we can fight. Ha. Uh, well, how about that? So, even so, we're thinking that someday we'll be able to see eye to eye on things. But for now, we part ways. Okay, I don't think that the castle is evil. Even if its nature is taboo at the point. Our actions have been good for people, so... He still thinks that we should be judged by that. Yeah, and it's because Fia likes to make connections and cherish these connections with people. Yeah, you're right. Even still, as much as possible, she didn't want to do any fighting. You know, to want that, is that selfish of her? No, I think it's good. You just keep being kind like that. But, from going forward, if you're in danger, we're still going to prioritize protecting you. She smiles a bit sadly, but she nods in agreement. Yeah, if we were to bend on that point, well, that would be bad. So, Fia, as she is, is going to meet people, try and make them happy, and continue on towards her objective. So, let's believe that on the path ahead of us, there's a future where everyone can be happy. So, in her expression as she gazes at the god's haze, she has a determination that won't be brand. Yep, here we are, right ahead. Right in front of the god's haze at last. So, let's go without any hesitation. So, let's go, everybody. It's the God's Hage we've been on this long journey to get to.
アバロ全部の準備は整ったかな All right, Avaro. Are all the preparations in order? Yep. The preps are all good to go. All right, let's go, Fia. Ho ha. Hey. Ah. Well, there's another scene.、Mm. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I guess I did that last time. Okay, let's see it. This is the God's Haze event, the God's Haze. Woo. Alright, everybody, preparations are in order. Let's go. So, Sophia confirms all, everything's in order. Clenches her fists up and puts her spirit into it. Alright, she's moving the castle now. Aw、oh, man, it's like they're trying to play the supper drama. So it slowly picks it up, one foot at a time, and continues forward. Here we go, we're entering the wind. So this barrier protecting the god's haze blows wind out from the inside towards the, well, surroundings. That's how it prevents intruders from coming in. So as we proceed in, the wind gets stronger and more violent. Whoo! So even though we're only getting close, there's a pretty strong wind already. So, if we relax, it seems like we're going to get blown away. Mikeu, grab onto Eel. Oh man, those two. So, Eel's trying to protect Mikeu, as usual. But the two of them,、uh, even if you put their body weights together, it still seems like they're gonna float off the ground. And Katorito says that since her body's so small, even as she is a dragon, it seems like she'll be blown off. Katorito, in order to keep herself from blowing away, is clutching ne next to a building. Oh, she thinks that if she changes into a dragon and gets big, she might better be able to grip the ground. Avaro doesn't know about that. Since you'd also be.、Uh, since your cross section would also increase, making you more wind hit you in the opposite direction. Contrary wise, it might make you fly away faster. Jeez, Avar, I think you would know a little bit about wind dynamics. You moron. And since she has wings, apparently, even a strong, large body like that might get blown away. No, that's not how it works. Have you ever heard of the square cube law? <sighs> so, he is trying to keep her hair down. Yeah, I guess that would be a problem. Oh, and she's got those weights on it. They might smack her. Anyway, she's looking around. She's wondering if the residents are all okay. Well, no need to worry. Before we started moving, the knights have already. Taking care of things. The residents are all shut inside of their houses, so they won't be facing any direct 
<laughs> won't be facing any direct damages. Well, as expected of Kiesner, you're so reliable. Avaro, Fia, are you honestly telling me you started moving the castle without checking with Kiesner? Now she tells you and you're happy? How irresponsible. Well, she accepts our praising words and... but still has a troubled expression on her face as she continues to check things. Well, thanks for your assessment, but like this, even inside of houses, it might not be totally safe. <laughs> Say, before any of that, why are we outside of the buildings anyway? No matter how you think of it, it's dangerous out here. Well, if something happens, we need the people who are able to take action to be present. And we still don't know how to break the barrier. So if we were all shut up inside, then we might not be able to react fast enough. And that would be even worse. Well, Deed continues to grimace. He's still pretty worried about what's going on and keeps looking about. And checking to make sure there aren't, aren't any residents walking about. Heh. <laughs> so, the windows and doors of the residences and facilities have all been shuttered up with wood boards. So probably the damages will be lighter. Well, centered around the knights, there's also the dragons and the angels and the elves that are helping out. So, the residents are probably perfectly safe. Well, Deedhelm no understands that line of reasoning, but still. If we, the leaders of the castle, got injured, the residents would be troubled. So, in response to this, we have Rishu, actually. She's got it pretty easy in her heavy armor and all. <laughs> so, if Fia is out here, putting her power forward to move the castle, then we, her vassals, what could we say for ourselves if we weren't by her side, supporting her? Deedhelm doesn't re really remember making himself one of Fia's underlings. Yeah, Risha stands there with that stance of hers. And, uh, well, the wind's around, but it isn't affecting her. Seeing that figure, Eel is, uh, gets a bit excited, and Mikio looks a bit jealous. So, Rishu there with her hair blowing in the wind looks kind of cool. You know, he's... Mikio's still worried that because the two of them are too light, they could get blown away. <laughs> well, the two of you will soon grow up. Like Rishu! Hmm. I've always thinking to himself, this is where you should... Invoke Fia's name instead of your own. 
Yeah. If you're her vassal and everything. And anyway, it's because the Regent's army is so heavy that she's able to do this more than the body weight thing. Come on, let Rishu be cool for a while. But Deet's coming around, thanks to Rishu and the two of them. Yeah, those two little girls standing their ground while Deet's complaining about wanting to go inside. Ha! What a man! Hmm, okay then. If we're going someplace dangerous, then the leader should be out front. And since Fia is trying her best, we do need to, you know, expose ourselves. Yes, compared to what Fia has to do, we simply have to endure this wind, so we have it easy. Now, oh, it seems Fia's been away for a bit, checking on the residents. Anyway, she comes back. Oh look, she's back. Maybe she should be wearing a better outfit for this. Of course, the only other outfit we've seen her in is her pajamas. Hey, it has been forever since we saw her in her, her pajamas. Did she throw them away or something? Does she not come in at night to harass Savaro? Oh, yeah. I'm, I need to stop going off on tangents. Anyway, Rosaline's getting buffeted by the winds as well. She narrows her eyes as she looks about. Hmm? Yeah. She's basically peering forward into the wind, but we still can't see anything forward. And to consider coming here on foot and attempting to get in. It feels a bit scary. Yeah, according to the rumors, everybody who's tried to get into the holy grounds has been, well, died in some form or another. But still, we need to proceed forward. We need to try our best to do this. Now that he thinks about it, this thing's here in order to keep people from getting into the God's Haze. Set up by the Fuchsia Faith. Perhaps these rumors that Avaro's heard came from the Fuchsia faithful themselves. Mm. So it's a very powerful barrier. The further we go towards the center, the stronger it gets. So, even if Maasteria devoted his army to getting in here, it would take some time. Or perhaps even, no matter how many people they gathered, simply a force of numbers wouldn't be able to penetrate. So Mikshuan has been looking for some kind of way to break this barrier. You know, looking around for magic reactions or some such. But she's not getting a handle on anything out there. Although she's concentrating hard enough to have sweat coming down her forehead.
Well, this holy ground has been shut off for, oh, hell long. Who knows how many years. So naturally, even if people do try to gather up more people, this barrier has to be able to turn away all of them. So more than here, where we're trying to get into the barrier, It'd probably be faster to have Fuchsia do something about it. I mean, that's how serious this barrier is. <laughs> this is one serious opponent. It's so difficult forcing in here. But getting through the winds, there has to be a way. Even so, it was designed to keep multiple faithful and armies and whatnot from staying in, from coming in, so, yeah, hell of a barrier. Fia, what's wrong? Well, it's true she's concentrating on moving the castle, but something's a bit off. She's got sweat beating on her forward head as well. And she's got this pained expression. Oh, Avaro, this might be a little bit bad. You know, all so long ago, uh, all so long ago she referred to the castle as her body. I wonder if she feels pain through it. Oh, that would be bad. Okay, what happened? Are you saying that the castle can't proceed any further? No, it's slow going, but she can still proceed. But if we continue like this, the castle is going to be damaged. That's how strong the winds are. Ah, is that uh, so? So, there isn't any problem with the walking of the castle itself. But, the people riding on the castle is a different matter. It's so hard to even stand in one place in this and the residents who are shut up in their houses probably don't get to do anything but listen to the slamming of the winds as things move around. But it'll be alright. Navarro and the rest of them have built those buildings and facilities so they won't break that easily. And furthermore, the courtyard in the center has the castle walls around it. Does it? Okay then. So he kind of says this to put everyone at ease. But he does realize that this can't go on forever. As we proceed towards the center of this whirlwind, it's just getting worse. The more they proceed, the more damage they are going to sustain. So we need to do something about this barrier. Even if the castle survives, the buildings won't forever. <laughs> So, this may not go well like this. The further we go, the more the castle sways in the wind. Well, 
So what are you going to do, Avaro? Even if we continue moving forward like this, we might not get through. Yeah, we pretty much got to figure out how to break this barrier. What? You mean you didn't talk about how to break the barrier before you came in? So we've got to figure out some way to get a handle on it. Back then, in Faro de Aros, the barriers that were binding down the castle, Avaro was able to bro break just by simply touching them. No, they're serious. They didn't actually talk about how to destroy the barrier before they came here. Ah, uh, but this barrier is just a bunch of wind that comes at us. So, Afaro needs to touch the wind? Well, if that were the case, then he's already touching it. So there must be some other... Yeah, there must be other some, uh, some other cause that is connected here. All right, according to what they're saying, Avaro does reach out his hand to try and touch something, but it doesn't react. So, the barrier should react to his elf blood. So how? You're all a bunch of morons. All right, so. We're still not getting it, but Fia's got some warm words of encouragement. Well, as long as it's Avaro, it'll be all right. After all, he's inherited the blood of that coup de vance. Yeah, that's true. I really am an elf, partly. Yeah. Not a full elf, but the, uh, the blood is half there. But probably we should be able to learn more about it. So, oh. actually he says that he doesn't know much about barrier techniques. So, to Avaro, who only has, you know, half-assed abilities in this department, we should be able to do it, we think. There should be a way. So, what shall we do? Should we pull back once and try to figure out a way to break the barrier? No. We don't really have that much time. The Infrudu's royal army isn't going to stay still for much longer. So, the High Priest Coup de Vance will attempt to delay them, but he's only buying us some time. Eventually, it'll run out. Alright, Avaro, what do we do? Oh. Shh, Eo. Avaro is concentrating, it looks like. Yeah, good, Avaro. Use those brain cells. So, while he's been in this barrier, when he concentrates, he sees, he feels, something slightly out of place. So we can't let anything get by him. 
He feels magic power in the winds that blow about. That's right. These winds have a natural looking feel to them, but they're a barrier. So being able to feel a bit of the magic power in here. Avaro, the magic power within Avaro and the strong, the strong elf blood inside is able to get this. Huh. Okay. These barrier techniques are only available to the highest of the elves. And if you're someone who can, who has the proper blood, then just by touching it, you can dissolve it. The incident in Faro de Aros with the ropes from the bows, when we take that into consideration, in order to break it, then you need to directly touch... Yeah. You need to directly have... You don't need to directly have, like, your blood fluid out there and touching it. At that time, all he did was, unconsciously, simply touched it and it dissolved. So, how is it that we should get this proper blood to touch the barrier? That's right. He's thinking it's the magic power within his body. In other words, now, Avaro still hasn't touched the barrier. Avaro's magic power has not... Magic power has not reached far enough. That's the answer! Oh man, did you have to rub all two of your brain cells together to get that one? So, in other words, in order to do it... We is in, the winds push it back against intruders from the inside to the outside. So in other words, we haven't gotten, we're only touching the outer reaches of it. Oh man, you mean it gets worse? So the source is where the winds are starting from. So Avara wouldn't have been able to do this but now, with Fia, he can get to the barrier. All right, Fia, continue forward. Avaro is certainly going to destroy this barrier. I'm disappointed. Anyway, Fia says she believes in him and she'll continue. So, Fia closes her eyes shut and puts her four power into the castle. So the castle continues moving forward. So the castle is going to carry Havaro in. So let's keep going to someplace you couldn't get to without it. Hmm. So, releasing the magic power flowing in his body, he continues forward on the on the castle. Okay, think. We need to calm down this barrier. Since we're foreign particles, as it were, they're trying to disorder us. And the source of the barrier is... Oh. Okay, he's got a declaration. 
I am the apostle of the goddess of connections, Fia. In order to grant her wishes, we're going to get everyone through here. So this barrier that's in our path, with these hands, I'm going to destroy it. Ya ya ya, etc. No, he finally gets deep enough, I guess. Man, there's a light flowing out. Enough to blind you. So, all that magic power that formed the barrier is dispersing. Yeah, the world, the whirlwind has finally reacted to his blood and lost its power. Yay, we did it, Avaro. The, the wind stopped. That's right. We've finally gotten here to the God's Haze. Arrive. We finally arrived at the God's Haze. And within the Holy gr Grounds, we see something we actually hadn't been expecting. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. Ah! Infinite Notes.